Welcome to Functional Fitness and happy spring, everyone. We're gonna get started with a V step. So we're gonna start with our legs hip distance apart and we're gonna step forward, forward, back, back. So wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Again, take your time. You can be, start with smaller steps. We're starting to warm up. So please, let's take a few deep breaths as we listen to our body. And then you can maybe go a little bit quicker. You can even add a little hop if you'd like. Use a chair if you feel a little unstable. Have some weights for our workout. Definitely some water and a chair. So we will need all those for our class today. Let's do one more. Then we're gonna do a one-sided jumping jack. So one arm, same leg. Again, it can be a smaller movement or a bigger movement. Feel free to do any other version of jumping jacks that you'd like. Remember, this is just the warm up. So whatever feels right for you, just move. We just need to move, get our heart pumping, get our joints and muscles warmed up. One more each side. Good, and now we're gonna do our V step back. So again, we're gonna start with our legs hip distance apart. This time we're gonna step back. Make sure you have that room behind you so you're not stepping on anything. And again, big step back, or you could just do a march. If that feels better for you this morning, please feel free, but just switch it up a little bit, warming up our hips a little bit differently. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Do one more. Good, we're gonna go back to jumping jacks. Same leg movements, this time arms are gonna go out to the side. So start with the palms together, and then we're gonna step out and in. So again, you can put a little bend in the elbow if that feels better. Check in with your shoulders. You should warm up, be warming up across the front of the shoulders and the back of the shoulders, a little bit in the front of the chest and that mid-back area, that space between our shoulder blades. So again, go at your pace. You can go slower, faster than me, any variation. Let's do one more each side. Good, and then as we bring our legs together or come back to our um, standard pose, legs hip distance apart, tall spine, we're gonna reach one arm up and over. Get a nice stretch through the side body. One more each side. Good, then both arms straight out. We're gonna circle forward. Again, check in with your shoulders, circle back. And then with our arms straight out, we're gonna bend our elbows and then we're gonna bring our elbows forward, palms together, maybe even elbows come together or somewhere along the forearms and then open wide, squeeze the shoulder blades. So elbows stay about chest height as we do our bellows. Again, warming up the front and back of the shoulders, front across the chest and the mid back. You want, you can add a little bit of a spine. You can pull your belly and tuck your chin down and then lift the chin, release the belly. Get a little cat cow for the spine in here as we do our bellows. Let's do one more each direction. Good, and then arms come all the way out again. And as we circle down, maybe do a few shoulder rolls and do a few wrist circles. One direction and the other. Good, let's grab our chairs, finish our warm up seated. So again, we want our upper body weight distributed evenly between both hips, legs are about hip distance apart. We're gonna just do a gentle twist. So we might wanna cross our arms, take a nice inhale, exhale, we're twisting right, back to center and then twisting left. So just gently letting the muscles do the work. Let's not force this move, we're still warming up. 
Warming up our core, warming up our back muscles, listening to our body. One more twist to the right. One more twist to the left. Good, arms down. We're gonna do an alternate, so it can just be a little knee lift or it can be a little knee hug, just opening up the back of the hips a little bit. So whatever feels good, keep the spine long now. We don't wanna lean, we're not leaning over. We're just keeping that spine nice and long, warming up the hip area. Good, next time we bring that right hip up, we're just gonna do some hip circles in one direction and then hip circles in the other direction. Good, and then let's bring that other knee up. Hip circles in one direction and hip circles in the other direction. Good, and let's walk our feet wide. Gently hold on to the chair so we don't slide out. We're just gonna do our little windshield. So scoot up to the front of the chair. Just let one knee drop and the other. So just opening up the front of the hip here. Feet can be a little bit wider. It all depends on how long your legs are and how high your chair is too. This chair is a little bit low, even for me, and I'm pretty short, so. Let's do one more windshield each direction. Good, and as we come back up, scoop back forward, extending both legs out, we'll do a few point flex. Feel free to do one leg at a time if you feel more comfortable doing it that way. And then some ankle circles. One direction, ankle circles in the other direction. Good, take a nice, one more nice inhale and exhale. Let's grab some weights and we're gonna get started. Feel free to stay seated or come to a standing position using weights that you feel comfortable with. Remember if you've been using the same weight for a long time and it doesn't feel like you're really um, putting too much effort into the work anymore, it's time to either up the reps, which we always do, we, you know, we're doing 15. So we're doing the max reps. You can always pause the video, do a second set, um, or you can up your weight. So a couple ways to, and if you need, if you're just moved up a weight, you want to maybe do less reps or maybe do alternating arms until we build up that strength. So we're going to start with our dumbbell row. Staggered stance if we're standing, hinging forward, all of us, whether we're sitting or standing. Arms are straight. Roll the shoulders back and down. And here we go. We're going to row. So pull. So elbows go straight back, bending. So the weights are kind of coming up towards the hips. Our shoulders aren't lifting towards our ears. Four, five, the work is in the back. Shoulder blades squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. So just let's hold here for one second. We shouldn't be all hunched up. We should have our shoulders down away from our ears. We should feel their shoulder blades squeezing, elbows are um, sticking straight back, and we can lower, roll their shoulders. Nice job, everybody. Upright row. So we're gonna start with our weights together, and we're gonna go a little wider. So making a V, we did our V steps. So now we're gonna do our V upright row. So with our weights together, as we come up, we're just gonna bring them a little bit wider. So they come more towards our armpits. Two, they're gonna come about chest height. So a little less high. We don't go all the way up to our chin, obviously. Three, four, five. Again, listen to your shoulders. Bring those weights up. Six, as high as is comfortable for you. Seven, eight, nine. 10, five more, one, two, three, four, and five. Nice, roll the shoulders. Let's do one more before a water break. We're going to do a front raise. So weights are alongside our body, palms are facing back. We're gonna do 12. So your choice to do alternating or both, depending on how you're feeling today. So I'm gonna start with one and then maybe um, go with both arms. So here we go, straight out. We're reaching forward as we're lifting up. 
two, three, get the core muscles engaged, four, shoulders relax, belly in, five, six, seven, stay alternating if you'd like, eight, so I'm not going higher than my shoulders, nine, my arms are string, staying straight, 10, 11, and 12. Nice, let's roll those shoulders, put those weights down. We'll take a quick water break. And then we're gonna get right back into it. So next up, we're gonna do tree hugger. So again, this is for our mid back, an area that we really need to keep strong for our posture and stability. So let's stagger our stance again. You can do this one seated. Again, we've got a little hinge forward. Belly is in, spine is long, arms come out. It's a little circle. Again, weights stay about chest height, elbows stay bent, and we squeeze the shoulder blades. So we're hugging our tree right here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, you can always do less reps, remember. Three, four, and five. Good. To roll our shoulders. Next up, we're going to do a little multi movement here. So we're going to start with a lateral raise. So we have our palms facing forward. We can do alternating or one arm. We'll do one to start because we're going to do 12 total. So we're going to go a lateral raise, then bring that arm forward, bring it back out, and bring it down. That was one, two, forward, out, and down. Three, forward, out, and down. Four, five, six. Stay alternating if you like. You can do this with no weights as well. Seven, strong core here, relax shoulders. Eight, front, side, down. Nine, 10, front, side, down. 11, last one, 12. And relax, good, roll your shoulders. That was a tough one. Remember, always go alternating or put the weights down and just do the arm movements. We're still working those muscles, strengthening those joints. Uh, last up, we're gonna do Arnold presses. So we start with our elbows down, palms in. We're gonna press overhead, bringing the palms out and then back in. If that doesn't work, we're gonna do elbow lifts, okay? So let's do a set of alternating to start and then your choice to do alternating or both for our second set. Wrists stay firm here. We don't want any wobbly wrists. So here we go, right side. One, two, palms out, palms in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's pause. Second set, alternating or both. For one, we're doing another 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, tall spine, one and two. And down and relax. Let's roll our shoulders. We can put our weights aside. We can grab a seat, take a little water break before we do our sit to stand.
So as we come to our seat, again, we want our body weight distributed between both hips. We want good alignment here. So knees and ankles, knees and hips all aligned. We're gonna do 12 sit, uh, stand to sets since we're sitting already. So we're gonna stand and then sit back down um, nice and lightly. So uh, especially like I have my chair on a floor so it could possibly um, shift if I'm putting too much pressure on the chair. So we wanna rely on our bodies, not the chair. So here we go. We're gonna stand and we're gonna sit. Remember you can do glute squeezes you can use your hands to help you get up as we build up strength. Arms can come out, four, nice and easy. Five, six, press through the heels. Get those glutes working, eight, nine, 10. We've got two more, one, and two, and have a seat, and roll the shoulders. And when we're ready, we're gonna stand up. We're gonna do side leg raises. So we're gonna do three way side leg raises. So we're gonna do one um, angle at a time for both legs, so that poor standing leg doesn't get too tired. So let's um, find a good posture behind our chairs. Again, chairs are just here for stability. We're not leaning into the chair. Let's start with our right leg. Foot is gonna stay parallel, okay? So kind of lead with this side of your foot. And here we go for one. We're gonna do 10 of each. Two, three, actually let's do 12. Four, five, six, Seven, you should feel it right on the outer hip here. Eight, nine, 10, let's do two more. One and two. Okay, remember, we're not tipping our whole body. Spine stays upright, let's go to the other side. Again, lead with that outer edge, side edge of your foot for one, two, three, four, micro bend in a standing leg, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, and two. Good, that was one way. You got two more to go. So we're gonna take, go back to our right foot. Feet start hip distance apart. We're gonna take our right toes and just turn them out. So now we've got our um, one foot slightly out. We're not, going to lead, um, reach for, forward, we're still reaching out to the side, but the toe is gonna lead a little bit. So we're gonna go out for one, two, three, four. So you should feel this a little bit more in the front of your thigh. Six, seven, micro bend in that standing leg, tall spine, eight, nine, 10, one, and two, good. Coming back to the chair, shake it out. So let's do the same thing with the left foot. So toe comes out and here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good, shake that. And we got one more, let's go back to the right. So feet start parallel this time, kick your heel out a little bit. So the heel's gonna lead. Again, we're not going to the back, we're still going to the side. So when we have our hip internally or externally rotated, we had an external last time, now it's internal. The range of motion is gonna be a little different. So don't, you know, try to get the same range of motion each direction because it's in a, our hips in a different position. But we're working those hip muscles a little bit differently each time. Two, three, four. Maybe feeling this more a little bit in the back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two. One. 
two on this side. We still have 12 on the other. So coming back, feet parallel, left heel kicks back, and here we go for one, two, three, tall spine, four, this is the last one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Nice job, everybody. Move that around a little bit. We're gonna do a hip hinge. So you might wanna grab one weight, two weights. Remember with our hip hinge, we hinge from way down here. We slide halfway till our spine is parallel to the floor. It stays long. So we have a nice flat back, bending the knees as much as we need to. And then we press through the heels, squeeze the glutes to come up. So it's one smooth movement down, one smooth movement up. Your choice, hands can be on our hips, can slide them down our legs, or we could be using one or two weights. Somebody used two weights today, but you decide which works best for you. Feet are hip distance apart, roll those shoulders, draw the belly in, and here we go. We're gonna slide down, press through the heels, squeeze the glutes, come back up come back up one. So we shouldn't be using our lower back. Two, using our lower body. Three, four, five, six. We're gonna try for 15 here. Seven, squeeze the glutes. Eight. Nine, 10, and press through the heels. One, two, three, four, last one, five, and up. Good, roll the shoulders, put the weights down. So this morning we are going to do bunny hops. So the whole idea of a bunny hop is we are going to use every muscle in our body to just um, get our entire body off the floor. That doesn't work. You can just um, do the best you can. Holding on to the chair. We're going to try to do it as quietly as possible. We're going to do 15. So when we're ready, we're going to hop, hop, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Shake that out. Take a nice breath. That's good for our bones as well as our muscles. Take a quick water break. I didn't want to have any water before we did our bunny hops because all that water would be sloshing around in our stomachs. All right, staying at the back of our chairs. We're gonna do a set of squats. So holding onto the chair if you need to, legs hip distance apart or maybe a little bit wider. When we do our squat, remember knees bend, hips slide back, knees stay behind the toes. You decide how low you wanna go in the squat. We're gonna do a slow count down and then one count up. And we're doing 15. So are we ready? Here we go, so we're gonna go one, two, three, press up. Again, we're using the back of our body. Two, two, three, up. Three, four. Check and make sure those knees stay behind the toes. Five, hips slide back. Six, seven, eight, Nine, two, three, back up. 10. One, press through the heels. Two, back stays long. Three, could look straight ahead. Four, keeping our chest lifted. Last one, five, two, three, press up. Good, shake that out. Down to our 
calves here for heel lifts. We're gonna do our three-way heel lifts. So again, we're gonna start with our feet parallel, 12 of each. So we're gonna lift our heels and lower. Two and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, two more, one and two. Good, bang that out. Position one or second position with our heels out, the second position for our feet. Heels together, toes pointed out, and here we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more of these, one, and two. Good. Bang those toes out. That releases the calf muscles. Now we have toes together, heels apart. Last position. And here we go. One, two. Again, working those calf muscles differently. And our ankles. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two. One and two. Good. Let's bang that out. We're at our balance pose. So we're going to do our stork pose today. So let's come to one side of the chair. Starting with one hand on the chair, we're going to lift one heel up. So toe down, tall spine, draw the belly in, maybe lift one arm, maybe lift two. This can be our balance today. Maybe we want to lift our leg all the way up. Maybe we want to extend our arms for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good. Shake all that out, roll the shoulders. Same thing, other leg. So you might wanna to go to the other side of the chair if that feels more stable to you. Shifting our weight, tall spine, belly in, reach the crown of the head, come up on the toe, could be the ball of the foot, tippy, tippy toe, one or both hands off the chair, foot off the floor, arms in any position for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Good. Shake that out, roll the shoulders. Take a little breather, grab some water. So for our chest today, we're gonna to do our finger pulls. When we do our finger pulls, we take one hand, palm out, go palm to palm, slide the hands together. So just the fingertips grip, and then we bring these fingers to our chest. Shoulders stay relaxed, good posture, sitting or standing, and we pull. So this is isometric, using our own body weight and body strength, resistance. Two, two, three, four, Five, release. Three, don't forget to breathe. Four, you can count out loud, then you make sure you're breathing. Five, two, three, four, five, six. Don't let their shoulders creep up around your ears, then you're using the wrong muscles. Seven, we're using chest muscles, back muscles, not shoulder muscles. Eight, two, three, Four, five, remember which hand was on the inside before you separate them, shake them out, roll the shoulders. Take a nice breath. And we got the other way. So other hand on the inside. This is um, strengthening for our fingers as well. Relax the shoulders. Weight are, excuse me, hands are close to the chest. So we're not way out here. We're not way up here. Feel that, that goes right to the shoulders. We wanna be down using those chest muscles. Here we go, pull. Release, two, remember count out loud if you think you're holding your breath too long, three, release, <clears throat> four, release, five, release, six, two more, seven, 
Relax the shoulders, keep the spine long. Last one, eight, two, three, four, five, release. Shake out those wrists, roll those shoulders, take a nice deep breath, and then we're gonna grab our weights. So we're gonna do three, well, kind of three-way bicep curls. <clears throat> we're gonna start with halfway up, we're gonna do full, and then we're gonna do halfway down, and then we're gonna do another set of full. So we're gonna do 10 of each, because that's quite a few bicep curls. So arms by our side, palms facing forward, halfway up. So we, our arms form um, a 90 degree angle. So we go halfway up and back down. Two, nice and smooth. Control the down, three, four. Wait, arms shouldn't be swinging. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Let's go to full. So all the way up, all the way down. Tall spine, draw the belly in, protect the low back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, just come halfway down. And we're gonna go up and halfway down. Two and halfway. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's go all the way down. One more set of fall. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Roll your shoulders. Take a nice breath. If you need to put your weights down for a moment, feel free. And we're gonna do our um, straight arm tricep lifts. So seated or standing, we're gonna hinge forward. So we've got that staggered stance. We've got our arms right by our side. Palms are facing up. Shoulders are down away from the ears. And we're just gonna lift and lower. So we're gonna lift and lower. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four. This one, if you'd like a bonus, lift, and then we're going to pulse in for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and release. Good. Roll the shoulders. Let's put our weights down. We're going to do um, our broomstick twist for our twist today. So <clears throat> you can do this seated or standing. You can do it with your arms straight. You can do it with your arms bent. Um, you can even do it with your arms crossed if that's more comfortable. So we're going to do it 20 times. So we're going to go back and forth. So take a nice inhale, exhale. We're going to twist. So we're moving from the waist up. So hips don't move too much. Feet stay planted. Two, three, nice and controlled. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's take a nice little break. Roll those shoulders. We can grab some water. One more water break. Got just a couple more to do, and then we'll be done. So another set for our biceps. 
We're gonna do 10 bicep curls, palms forward, rotate a quarter turn, 10 hammer curls, rotate one more time, 10 forearm curls. So are we ready? Roll the shoulders, seated or standing. And here we go for one. Palms are forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One quarter turn. So palms are facing in now. Ten hammer curls for one. Arms stay close to your side though. Two. Upper arm should be moving. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Core is strong. Nine. 10, which means just draw your belly in ever so slightly. One more quarter turn. So now the palms are facing back. Arms might come a little bit in front of us here so um, we can rest our weights on the front of our thighs. Keep those upper arms closed. Keep the wrists firm as we curl up for forearm curls. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Good, let's roll our shoulders. One last tricep, we're gonna do tricep extension. So if you're comfortable using two weights, you can do two, you can drop one. You can do this seated or standing. I'm gonna do mine seated so you can see. Weights come over our head kickbacks or those straight arm tricep lifts if um, arms overhead does not work for you. And we're gonna extend. So keep those upper arms right alongside the body, elbows facing forward when we bend for one, two. So don't let those elbows flare out. Keep them hugged in. Three, four, five, six. You can do this with no weights as well. Seven, eight, nine, 10, we're gonna go for 15, but stop when you start losing form. One, two, when you're fatigued, three, four, five, and down. Nice job. So when you start to feel like you're losing your form, your muscles are getting really tired, that's when we stop, because we don't want to injure ourselves. That's usually when an injury occurs, is when we're too fatigued and we don't have the proper form. So take a few breaths, grab some water, and we're ready for our cool down. So again, your choice is sit or stand. <clears throat> when we were warming up, we were doing dynamic stretching. We were moving. For our cool down, we're gonna do um, static stretching, which is holding each stretch for a couple of breaths. So it's important to stay um, in, with your breath, listen to your body. And we're gonna start with a lateral stretch, one side or the other, three relaxing breaths here. So it should be a nice long inhalation and exhalation through the nose. Good, and we can bring that arm down. And we'll go to the other side, same thing. Again, elbow can be bent here for protecting shoulders. Good, and bring that arm down. We're gonna interlace our hands, keep your palms facing in. We're just gonna press forward so we open up that space between the shoulder blades, tuck your chin, pull your belly in, and tuck your tailbone under. So a nice um, rounding of our spine. Think of arching your back as a cap. And we're gonna bring our arms all the way up as high as we can, release those arms, reach straight out to the side, do a few arm circles forward, do a few arm circles back. Good, and then we're gonna bring our arms behind us, interlace again, palms still face our body, press the hands away. So now we're gonna open up the front of the chest. 
So as we reach our hands back, lift your heart, maybe lift your chin, three breaths here. So arching our back in the opposite direction, opening up the front of the spine now. Good, and as we slowly release, arms come back to our side. Feel free to do a few shoulder rolls if that feels good, and then we're gonna do a few wrist circles. Both directions. Good. Again, we've got our weight distributed on between both hips, both legs, both feet. Let's cross our arms, take a nice inhale. We're gonna do our twist, seated twist to the right. Hold and breathe. So muscles are holding our twist. Feel free to let your head drift and turn over that right shoulder, if that's comfortable. Good, then we're gonna slowly unwind. Maybe see which arm is in front and then cross the other way. So it probably feels awkward. Inhale and then we're gonna twist to the left. Good, and slowly unwind, release. A few shoulder rolls once more. Let's walk our feet wide. And we're gonna do, um, turn to one side, open up our hip. So we want our knee and our hip to be in alignment. You can stay here with your foot down. This other foot is planted. We're holding onto the chair so we don't fall out the front or we can grab our ankle, our foot, our shoe. Keep that spine long, so shoulders over hips. Good, and we're gonna spin around and do the same thing on the other side. So let's make sure we've got good alignment first. Slide it back, see how that feels. We're opening up the quad muscle and the front of the hip, tall spine. If you feel comfortable, grab the ankle. If you happen to have a strap, you can also wrap a strap around your ankle or a band. Or you can grab the back of your sock or pants. Good, and we'll just release. Coming forward to extend one leg out. Heel down, toe up, little hinge forward, stretching out the back of the leg here. Good, as we come up, point the toe down. Feel that nice stretch in the top of the foot, top of the ankle and the front of the calf or the front of the lower leg, the shin. And slide that leg back in. We're gonna gently bring that knee to chest. Let's do a few rocking hugs. Good, and then a few hip hinges. And as we're bringing that hip out, we're gonna gently Hold on to the ankle, bring it to our thigh. It might be at our shin today, it might be our ankle, and I think I'm actually gonna stay down here because my hip is very tight today. And a little hinge forward if you'd like. So take a few relaxing breaths. Remember, it can be on your thigh, your shin, at the ankle. If it's on the shin, you might wanna keep that um, other leg straight. So you get a little bit more of a figure four here. Good, and then we're gonna release, slide the other leg out, heel down, toe up. <coughs> Good, as we slide up, point that toe, bring that leg back in, we'll hug it in. Some hugs first. Good, and then some hinges. And then our figure four on this side. Relaxing breaths here. So we're releasing tension. We shouldn't be tensing our body. So relax your jaw, relax your shoulders. You can put a smile on your face. That always helps your body relax, believe it or not. Good, and let's come back out. We're gonna extend both legs for some ankle circles. Both directions. Good, slide in. Inhale, one last time. Just any movement that your body needs. Nice big exhale out. Thank you for joining me today and enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time. Bye-bye.